beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ellie and bienvenidos to my YouTube channel. So today I'm coming at you with my review of Bad Man by Dathan Auerbach, which is one of my most anticipated horror novels of 2018. And this comes out on August 7th, which is right around the corner. So I'm trying to get this up as fast as possible. I was so excited and so grateful to get the e-arc of this from NetGalley. And this was my first introduction to Dathan Auerbach and his writing style. If you guys were interested in this book and you want to know my thoughts on it, then go ahead and keep on watching. Trigger warning, by the way. Moms out there, dads out there, if you have children and you don't like reading about abductions or missing children or anything like that, please don't even think about this book. I got this book and I was so excited to begin reading it. I immediately sank my teeth into this book. In this book, we follow our character, Ben, five years after an incident happened where he went to a supermarket with his little brother, Eric, and his little brother disappeared. Five years later, Ben is doing his best to try to keep his family together and trying to help with the financial strain that is now happening in his family by trying to get a job. However, no job is hiring him and the only place where he can see salvation and where he can see any hope of helping his family is at the same place where the incident took place, which is the supermarket. Already this premise had me hooked. I wanted to know what happened. I wanted to know if this was an abduction. Did Eric run away? Dathan Auerbach has written a book before this called Pen Pal, which I have not read. So this was my first introduction to his writing style. I've loved his world building. That had to be my favorite part of this book. Prose is his world building. The atmosphere was filled with tension and it basically to me read like a suspenseful horror movie. I could hear the suspenseful music playing in my head while I was reading this book. That was a unique experience and also his character building was extremely well written when it came to the main character, Ben. You see his flaws. He's very gray because when you are dealing with such a traumatic event as losing a person that you love, you're breaking rules for a greater good. For the most part, I just felt so bad for him and I felt guilt. I felt his frustration. I felt all the hope that he had for trying to find his brother and knowing in your heart that he is not dead and that he is alive somewhere and that one day you'll find him and keeping that fire alive by going out, talking to neighbors, giving them posters to keep his name relevant. I personally liked the character of Ben even as flawed as he is because us as humans, we are just flawed. None of us are perfect. And I can only imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. I was extremely empathetic towards Ben. However, that is where the pros stop and the cons begin. I was extremely disappointed with this book. Maybe it was because I had such high hopes for this book. The execution of it, I just thought, was subpar, especially for the topic that it was trying to tackle. Missing child is a very touchy subject. A con, like I was saying, the main plot twist was extremely anticlimactic. That was one of my biggest disappointments in this book because when we do find out what happened to Eric, everything that happened in the book is basically null and void. There was a lot of things that happened and a lot of characters that were introduced that led nowhere. They didn't advance the plot in any way. They were just there to take up space. Another con, the beginning is extremely slow. It took me more than 50 pages to finally get into this book. Most of the book is in Ben's perspective, 
but there are intermittent pages that has an unknown narrator which is trying to explain a different character that comes up in the book however that also leads nowhere again it felt like it was just to fill in pages and i didn't really like that a different con is that while Ben was extremely well developed, the rest of the characters were not. I could care less what happened to all the other characters because I wasn't invested in them. They were there and I know they were part of the story. However, I don't feel like they didn't give substance to the story. Again, they were there just to fill up pages. And that's not what I'm looking for in a novel. The ending is tragic. However, I don't necessarily want a happy ending, but I do want a complete ending. And this book was not complete by any means. It left off very awkwardly. I believe this was supposed to be a standalone, but it doesn't read as a standalone. I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads because, like I said, I loved the way that he built the tension and the atmosphere and how well he wrote Ben. And just the thoughts that can go through your mind while you're just trying to keep it together. You're trying to keep your family together. You're trying to keep yourself together and just keep on holding to the hope that your brother one day will come back to your family and to your home. I would recommend it to you guys because like I said, Dathan Auerbach has a very awesome way of creating tension in this book but for me it just didn't work it could have been a lot better he if he built the rest of the supporting characters if he would have thought through the ending and the plot twist and if he would have given us an ending and he would have given us a solid plot twist this book would have been five star easy however because all of that was missing. That's why my rating is at 3.5. It was okay. It's just an okay read and that's fine. That's just my opinion. You might think otherwise. If you guys are interested, I hope that you read it. It really is a very interesting concept and it is a very tension filled book, which I really appreciate as a horror reader. So that was my review on Bad Man by Dathan Auerbach. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Are you guys interested in this book? Let me know down below. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and that bell notification will let you know when I do upload. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you guys are having a great night, day, wherever you are. And until I see you next time, I wish you nothing but great health and happiness. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! 그래 내가 걔다